Hey everybody, this is Gaming Ultimatum. Welcome back to some more Persona 4 Golden. Last episode we basically got here. And we're gonna hang out with Vari. Our relationship won't deepen yet, but we'll hang out still. We just spent some time with Murray. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Oh, looks like they were right about being about the motorcycle games. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. Huh. The hell are you punks doing here? Voice. This ain't a show. Get bent. Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Huh. Uh, well, I know him through work. Uh. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. But oh. I thought he got into a high school and started attending class. Huh. That's strange. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. Oh. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Uh, okay. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. Oh yeah, I can't see that actually. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. That'll be good, I guess. The fourteenth. Whoa! It started raining. I guess the weather report was right. I mean, the weather report usually is right. That means the show's probably going to be on tonight. Yep. We hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Okay. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. I remember. Got it? Yeah. Welcome home! What up? <laughs> Dang, those words sound kind of cool together. Well, that's what they're supposed to be like. Nothing in the fridge. Hey, I got. Let's check the midnight channel. Okay, it's still writing. That's good. Well, try to see if anything appears. Yep, there's someone on there. Man, high schooler. Still can't identify it. Well, it looks familiar. I'll try calling Yosuke right now. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Okay. He kind of seems recognizable, but... Who knows? Let's sleep for now. Let's sleep it off for now. What up? <clears throat> we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Yeah. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm. It does have a nice ring to it. Of course it would. Anyways, as for what was on last night. Uh. Who was that? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? Yep. And also, apparently, to me, it looked like a high schooler as well. So that's how 
I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? Well then I guess that's not the connection. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yep. Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come yep. to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Yep. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. So clearly, they're still here. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? Yep. If so, then... He's still safe for now, at the very least. Uh -huh. I think that's safe to assume. But the means the target has already been set. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Who knows? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. Yeah. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Yep. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's basically what we just said. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. Oh no, she started again. <laughs> oh no, my, my funny bone. <laughs> Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Same here. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie! Yeah. yeah, it can be pretty funny sometimes. It's evening already. You're back. So you're home. Well, oh, I'm home. And you, Midnight Channel. Sorry. Yep, it's Friday tonight. We'll see you what happens on the TV. Still there. Still not that clear. Oh. He's punching now. Hmm. Oh. Hey, Yosuke. I I think it might be Kanji Tatsumi. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. He was on TV. He was on that special news report. Yeah. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. Yep. All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? All right. Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Yeah. It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Uh, I'm not sure how to answer this. Uh, neither. <laughs> kind of harsh, don't you think? Yeah, I know. Right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Yep. 
Okay, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay. okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I didn't even saw that mod. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Yep. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? I think we all saw it, Chie. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. Yeah. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Mm. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Yep. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. Probably not. All right, then let's get going. Yeah, here we go. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Hey, but you just depended on us. Huh? Hello. What up? Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Huh. Okay. <laughs> What's up with him, weirdo? Huh? Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. <laughs> your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Um, uh, we were wondering if we could speak with Kanji Tatsumi at all? Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Oh, uh, uh well, mm -hmm. kinda. We we kind of star. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. Huh. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Huh? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me. All right. Oh, it's okay, we should get going. Yeah. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well then, please say hello to your mother for me. All right. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? I don't think it's... Come on, let's talk outside. I don't think it's probably connected to the case fully, but hey, who knows. Kanjikun. Huh? Quick, hide! Why are we hiding? You're not fooling anyone, you know. Yeah, this is a, this ain't hiding. This is just standing around. Shh! I can't hear what they're saying. T tomorrow's fine with me, huh? S school. Of course, I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Huh? 
Did he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but... He's interested in me? Hmm. Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? I told you this was a terrible hiding spot. Run! Sorry. He's even worse in person than on TV. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah. Yeah. And I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Mizyamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Um. Kanji's a target. That's what it seemed like based on the TV image, but his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Maybe it's maybe the first case doesn't actually involve this at all. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. Well, maybe it doesn't involve any of those. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I wouldn't think that. I'm totally lost. Who knows? We can't ignore this. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Are you serious? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Yeah. Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah. yeah. Something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. Yeah. All right. Let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. Yeah. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, Yusuke, you should have said that in a different way. Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Seriously, Yosuke. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay then, the stakeout is set for tomorrow. All right. Stakeouts, tailing people. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Of course. Welcome home. What up? Huh. That's weird. Any food? Nope. Let's just get some early rest for tomorrow. Has the target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Uh. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. Guys, I don't think this is going to work. Hey, what up? I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Okay. 
At least he didn't spot us that time. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? Uh... I'll go with Yukiko. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight! Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. Alright. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Not in a million years. There'll be no <laughs> need for that if we stay out of sight. Yeah. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. Uh, they, 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 they will. They. Oh, <laughs> um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Ah. Uh. So, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. He stay as uh, far enough range. We'll be fine. Oh, hey. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Oh yeah, thanks. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Yeah. Do you think the culprit will come? Uh, I I pretty much doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless, but maybe that's for the best. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. Yeah. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. I think so too. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. It sounds like I just got shot. Oh, God. Anyway. Uh, new social link priestess. You go get out, wake up, help knock down allies. Uh, say it's for the investigation. Oh, you're right. We'll need to contact each other if anything happens. Here we go. No change over at the shop. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? Uh, I, I wouldn't know. Well, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I, I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. <laughs> Strange. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! Say what you think. You, you got it all wrong. Hey, are you listening, damn it? 
It seriously ain't like that! We regret to inform that our mission failed. Of course. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Probably. Uh... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Shit. You let him straight to us! You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw! We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? What the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Just get you and your stupidity. Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, too much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Yeah. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Yeah. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Oh, welcome home, big bro. All right, I did it. Anyway, save. I think that's where I'm going to end things off now. Next time, we'll see what happens. See you guys then.